Hello, hello, and welcome to the Introverted Manager. Today I would like to talk to you about the topic I covered before. How to extract data from Jira API directly in Power BI utilizing M-Code. However, in previous solution it was impossible to refresh the data within Power BI service. So, let's rework M-Code to use relative paths which will allow us to refresh data within Pro BI service. Let's dive right in. First, allow me to explain what's the issue related to why Power BI service does not allow to refresh with previous code that we used. I have it here on screen and let me open advanced editor and let's see which code is the problem. It's this one. It's this one, and there is specific reason. When Power BI service uh, check the static check of the code of the M code before running it, what it tries to do is to check all of the URLs that are in the code and check whether they're responding correctly. However, in this case, we are building URL from multiple parts but those multiple parts aren't static right because we're inserting ids we're inserting max results different parameters and then out of this we're building large string large for url therefore without executing the code power bi service unable to check url and whether it responds without issues and that's the main issue so what we'll need to do is we'll need to rework this we'll need to rework this let's see how to make that happen there is actually um alternative alternative way which is, utilizes different m function i saw comment from the developer Microsoft developer somewhere that they added this function specifically for this case when you need to build um, uh, URL on the go however to be able to use it within Power BI service this function is relative path and let me quickly walk through the code. So these parts have not changed at all. However, this function, which uh, gets the JSON and builds uh, URL is different. So let's do a walkthrough. So we have get JSON function here, which takes two parameters as an input. It's relative pass and it's query. So far, so good. Then we're still using web contents. This is the main one that queries any URL that you pass in. In this case, it's JSON API. Uh, what we are providing here is Jira instance URL. And make sure that this Jira instance URL is just basic URL, nothing else. No, nothing related to the API itself, just basic domain. In my case, it's, if I quit here, um, go here, Jira instance URL is axonatska dev dot uh, period atlassian dot net. Okay, this is what you're supposed to have in your domain. Let's go back to the M code. Now, additionally, we're telling it that, okay, there is relative pass. And this is something we will be passing f further down the code. Relative pass equals to relative pass. So this is inbuilt function into from M. This is something we will be passing to get JSON. 
and query again inbuilt function this is something we will be passing as an input some dynamic query parameters will all come clear the further we go now we still need to build those dynamic parameters somewhere right therefore let's see how it works I'll glance over get results per page because mostly it's the same here as you can see here it's actually built the same way as previously because it runs just once we just need to get max results from the service to understand how many results per page this the API can provide us with this is what happens here as an input where providing 1000 however in the response we'll see the actual number of results that api provides per page okay let me move to the next function the one that is actually queries the results however we still need to build url somewhere so let's see how it works so there is get results per page function it doesn't take any inputs right uh, within that function, we're extraction JSON, as you can see here, JSON equals. This calls our get JSON function, which I just went through, which accepts relative paths and query as an input. This is what we are providing it with. So this is our relative path, and therefore what you will see what it builds into and I'll make a, a bit of a mess here however I just want to understand we are providing a relative path so our Jira URL domain is .net. this is our domain you additionally provide relative path which we, we see here So we add in that part. However, there is still some dynamic uh, parameters uh, after that. This is what we're building here. Dynamically, it's an array or few additional parameters. Our check JQL query, project in, and some projects that we want to get data from, expand which is responsible for list of fields that we would like to see in API response. I don't know, work logs, uh, issue name, issue ID, etc. <clears throat> and max results, which is responsible for number of uh, uh, items per API call or per page. Okay. So this we're still building dynamically, putting into array and providing as an input, which will result in something like this, uh, GQL project in project in da 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 and expand and pardon, max results in the end in the end that's what will be queried by this function it will build this uh, URL. However, previously we were using concatenation and string interpolation. For this, this time around, we're using relative pass. Okay, I will delete this because otherwise nothing will work. Okay. Otherwise, 
if we move further, uh, nothing changed compared to previous code. I've only changed or switched to get JSON and therefore adopted new format for the same functions. Still getting an AD count, still getting the page, etc. etc. It's just this time around I'm using relative pass format. So I'll post the file, you can go through the code yourself. However, let's see what we need to do in Power BI service to make it work. And play. You will have to navigate to uh, manage connections and gateways. What you will do next is find your report, which you just uploaded, and go to dataset settings. Let me find it here. And let's open its settings. So nothing will happen by default. It will tell you probably that it could not refresh, etc. However, under gateway and cloud connections, what you will ideally see is this. Okay. Which you will need to map to your gateway cloud connection. However, for this to happen, you need to create such connection. For this, you can navigate to manage connect connections and gateways, connections, new, and that's what you will see. It's already pre-populated pre -populated some information for me, as you can see, the URL. You just need to add connection name, Jira. You need to choose uh, authentication method. In case of Jira, it's basic. Your username, will be your email. For password, you will use API key that you requested. You can refer to previous video to find out how to get API key from Jira. So you put here API key and pri privacy level, organizational, and just to be sure, you can also select this, allow this connection to be utilized with either on-premises data gateway or data gateways create and then I have it here already so I will not be making new one and once you go back to uh, data set settings you map your connection to data source you can turn off use an on-premises data gateway click apply and it will work i can show you history initially it was giving me error this data set includes a dynamic data source since dynamic data source aren't refreshed in power bi service this data set won't be refreshed and it was failing however now i can do refresh refresh you know, we see it's refreshing in a second it finished without issues well I don't have anything in this report so it's blank however it works and that's all for today if you want to see more videos like this subscribe and see you in the next one